All right, today I'm going to be doing a quick video for an entry into No Buzz Killings uh, 2000 sub contest. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to take down a Glock. All of them are basically the same. I'll be showing you on a Glock 19. This one has an empty chamber, as you can see. First step in tearing down a Glock is obviously to make sure that the chamber is empty. And usually you want to make sure that you have no loaded magazines around just so that you don't accidentally put one into the uh, pistol or somebody else would. So after you do that, you want to point it in a safe direction and uh, drop the hammer. Uh, so what that will let you do is you can pull back on the slide just a little bit, push down on the uh, tick down uh, lever here. Sorry. Um, so that will separate the slide from the barrel like that. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do a full takedown. So I'll first take up the slide fully apart and then I'll take the uh, frame apart. So to take down the slide it's pretty easy. You have the recoil spring, you want to take that out, and then the barrel, and then you just have this slide. So you're going to need a punch. Uh, I think this is probably about an eighth inch diameter punch. So what you want to do is put that punch in, in between the striker and the slide right in here. So you're going to push down on that and that will keep the striker forward so you can slide the uh, slide cover off. Once you take the slide cover off you can slide out uh, the, uh, what is that called? Blanking on what this part's called. The extractor uh, plunger and spring. And then also the striker, striker spring assembly. And then once you get that out, if you push in on this little part, you can shake the extractor out as well as the uh, as well as a firing pin safety and spring. So that's basically as far as you can tear down this slide without taking off your sights. So I mean if you want to do any thorough cleaning on your slide that's really all you need to know. Uh, I'll show you how to put this back together really quick and then uh, we'll move on to the frame. So to put back together your slide, first you want to take the extractor and drop that in. And then you need to push in the uh, <laughs> the firing pin safety and that will uh, lock in. So like this, that spring can still push that all the way out. So you want to put the extractor in, and then it'll lock that part in. And then you can put in the uh, striker, as well as the plunger and plunger spring. The spring goes towards the slide cover side of the slide. And then when you put it back together, you're going to need to push down on the plastic part of the striker. Huh. I usually just use my finger and then you're going to need to use a punch to push down on the plunger. So that gets that back together and then you uh, slide in the barrel like so and put the recoil spring back in. Uh, an important detail with the recoil spring is, as you can see there are two little ledges. You want the recoil spring on the bottom of those two. You want the recoil spring to sit in here as opposed to up here. So you want it down in this little curved part. Now I will quickly take down the slide and show you that. The video from the other day got corrupted somehow so I'm going to redo the demonstration of how to take down the frame of the Glock 19. 
and uh, the rest of the video. So here's the frame to the Glock 19. Using your punch, you're going to press out the pin by the trigger, if that'll slide out for me. Sometimes you need to move the uh, slide lock back and forth or uh, play with the trigger to get it to come out because that pin does have small little grooves cut in it so the uh, slide lock can get caught in there and then you won't be able to push it out. So once you pull out those pins you can use your punch and pull out the locking block and then by using this little hook here with your finger you can just pull out the trigger assembly. Uh, for cleaning this is about as far as you'll ever need to go. The only other points that you can take apart are the magazine catch which you would do by removing this or moving this spring in the frame into that notch and the uh, slide release here that you use to take down the pistol which you do by pushing down on the spring with a punch and wiggling it out like so. So that's how that comes out. And then obviously you do the same thing in reverse to put it back in. I'll toss back toss the slide back together and then put the pistol back together and while I do that I will discuss the channel that I'm going to do a shout out to you. The channel that I'm going to do a shout out for is Ignorance, I-G-N-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Uh, it's a Canadian guy who's pretty cool I think. He does some cool videos on uh, reloading, shooting, and then also machining which is something I'm really interested in. I'm uh, studying engineering right now so something that I think is kind of neat. Uh, he has 99 subs right now I think. So check him out. I'll post a link in the bottom of this video in the comment section and uh, please go check him out and that'd be pretty cool. Thanks. Bye.